All right, another cloudy day in paradise. Seven days, once again, flown by, which gives you another solo overnight in the woods. And today, I got something in store for you that I have not done yet. And it's gonna piggyback a couple of the videos, but I think you're gonna like it. Let's get out here and get set up, and then get her done. Okay, so here we are. We're at another down tree. I'm on this natural shelter kick. Last week we went ahead and created a hobbit house in the woods and it was outstanding. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Now, I promise you guys this will be the last down tree video for a few videos because I have another thing in store that's just killing me. I want to get it out, but I can't give anything away. So just bear with me. So here's what I'm thinking. Last week, like I already said, was a hobbit house in the woods. We utilized bark, moss, and a skeletal frame, it was outstanding. So today I'm thinking I want to build a natural earth shelter. Excuse me while I throw this out. slightly longer than my roof right here.
taking down a tree, Arnold style. Bucket list, scratch it off. One, two, two sticks. And just like that, we're on Easy Street. And it feels so sweet, cause the world is but a treat when you're on Easy Street. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. So for something like this, I'm not really concerned with shingling like we were in our last video. I'm more concerned with plugging those holes so the mud won't pass through there and cause a problem. Um, but so far we're looking pretty good and I think it's time for mud slash clay.
say about three to five inches with mud slash clay and we're good to go on the roof and then we can work on the sides but i can hear it now he didn't use that tiny shovel lols yet i did Tell you what, where's my boy Richard Dreyfus when you need him? He'd be like, this is important. This means something. <sighs> nah, bro, this means it's a lot of work for an overnighter.
All right, before it gets too late, it's time for a bushcraft project. And I'm thinking we comb this area and look for a stump in the woods. Baby stump in the woods. do-it-yourself rocket stove. Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download their free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
All right, here we go. Hot pepper berry bacon jam with triple applewood smoked bacon, bison cheeseburger. Oh my God. This took like 10 years off my life, but I don't care. Oh man, this is outstanding. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Well, that time again. So right here we have an improvised do-it-yourself rocket stove. Some people think that's a Swedish uh, fire torch. It's not. It's a rocket stove. And the plan was to try and do some cooking on it, but darkness fell. So I might try something here in a few minutes, but right now all I'm doing is thinking about this shelter. So we have a natural earth shelter. Last week we had a hobbit house. So it's similar design, but in the end, Everything is covered in clay and moss, so we have our natural earthy design. Um, and I guarantee the inside of this bad boy is sealed like a tomb. Um, no gaps at all, so I'm happy with this. One thing about springtime is uh, all the nightlife. But a couple more months, those frogs are going to be ready, and uh, I got something in store for them. So, tell you what. Well, I say we head inside and check her out. So just like last time at the Hobbit house, um, I'm on my side right now. Ceiling's right here. We're looking at about probably about two to two and a half fist lengths. And I can move my feet around freely so I can toss and turn in here. I'm completely sealed and my body heat is radiating off me right now. Just being next to that fire and then sitting inside here, or laying in here actually, um, yeah, I can feel that this is going to be a warm night. Probably too warm. but. It's a natural earth house, and I'm happy with this. This is one of my bucket list items. I've always wanted to do a shelter like this, where we do a wooden skeletal frame, and then cover it with clay or mud or some type of debris, and then seal it up, and then cover it with moss. So, looks cool too. So, I'm happy with it. Ice and cheeseburgers, dinner, popcorn, and a movie. That was good. And truth be told, this shelter about killed me. So 
more elaborate they get, the harder it is on me. And uh, like my boy Indiana Jones told me, it's not the years, it's the mileage. Nothing too terribly important to talk about tonight, except for my usual thank you. Thank you to my legions. Love you guys. Please keep doing what you're doing. Watch my videos, watch them all the way to the end. Find YouTube's recommended playlist and play that next video. Play one of the playlists. Keep me on that list, keep me being seen and heard, and I promise you, badassery for 2021. Yeah, get ready. One of those days. As you can see, everything out here is a soupy, muddy mess, but for the most part, the shelter did its job. Um, I'm happy with this. Might be one or two drops here and there, but to be honest, the shelter did exactly what it's supposed to do. Keep me dry. And I'll take this over any floppy tarp in the woods. So a lot of work for an overnighter, but it paid off. And there you go, solo overnight building an earth shelter in the woods. It's always good to come out here, use a minimum kit. I think we used some cordage and a saw and built a shelter from scratch off the landscape. It's always good to take things to the next level. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.